Okay, hello. Uh, hey, Wade, this is a, a video in response to how to save um, uh, something you write on your smart board, the actual annotation you write, as a separate uh, graphic image file like a JPEG or a GIF. Um, my technique is, is kind of you have to do about three, four different things. Um, and so I'm kind of hoping maybe someone knows an easier way, something you can do with the, the smart board software. But this is how I would save something I draw on the smart board as a JPEG file. All right, so first I'm gonna uh, go over to my smart board. Um, now I don't have my projector running, so uh, hopefully what I draw will, won't be that bad. But I'm gonna draw a little picture here. Go a little. Should have done this green. There we go. Let me see how close. So I'm drawing a little picture here. Okay, a really bad picture. Okay. Now I want to save this, and I, but I don't want to save the background words and everything else. Um, so what I want to do is I have to go up. I have my floating toolbar up here at the top, and I have to select full screen capture. I can't do a area capture or a freehand capture, so I'm going to do a full screen capture. Now what the full screen capture does is pretty cool. Let me go into my Smart Notebook software now. It does bring it into the Smart Notebook program. Now what I can do is I can now go and ungroup everything. And that's a, a nice little thing that it doesn't let you do when you select an area uh, to, to save into your uh, smart notebook. So I've ungrouped everything. Now what I'm going to do is select the background image. It's its own separate image now, or, or object. And I'm going to cut that away. Now the other thing is, so are these. All these little things I did, they're separate objects. And so um, I want to make sure that I keep these together, so I simply uh, draw a box around them, select them all, and then I just go ahead and I group them. So now I have one object. Now the problem here, and I'm going to minimize this screen, and I'm going to bring up, here's a graphic editor I have called Photo Filter. A uh, real nice free uh, program. Uh, let me go back. Now the problem is I cannot go directly from my smart notebook me copy that back to a graphic editor that's not Microsoft and paste it let me show you what I have it just doesn't recognize it all right but what I can do is I can take this and I can actually I think drag and drop it or copy it and go to my Microsoft Word document and I can paste it so now I have an object all right now it's converted it into something more recognizable by other applications so now from Microsoft Word I can simply copy it and bring it into a graphic editor program and paste it right in there and I have my flower yay oops didn't mean to do that okay now what I can do with this is I can simply save as change the file format to JPEG go to where I want to put it and give it a name flower and I am all done and that's how I convert something I draw on a smart board to a graphic image. Um, I'm hoping somebody has a, uh, a better way to do this, but if not, this is, uh, this is one way to do it. All right, thanks. Let me know if you have any questions.